Hey guys, it's RJ. I just got back from Total Wine. I didn't record while I was there, but I was going to pick up some beer for a friend because he's coming in from Puerto Rico. Might have him on a video tomorrow. Might even do a live stream with him, but we went in and we got um, a couple gift bags for free. We got two cases of beer for him because he likes beer. And then we actually found something special. We paid $15.49. We got us a bottle of Buffalo Trace White Dog. This is their MASH 1 bill, 62.5% um, alcohol, 125 proof, so pretty up there. They only had the 375 bottles. Uh, on the back, it kind of explains what this is. Essentially, this is um, whiskey that was just unaged, so this is what they used to drink a long time ago before they realized they could age them in barrels to kind of change that flavor profile and, and, and pull out some of those different notes that we taste today. But I figured we'll crack this bad boy open and give this guy a try and see what we think about this one. This one's going to be a little bit difficult to open, I have a feeling. Nope, we have a pull tab here. Perfect. Just when I thought it was going to be difficult. Not hard at all. So, we've got a Glen Karen here. I also have a cup of ice on the table, so we can change that flavor profile up. Get the plastic around the lid real quick. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna recork this, let that sit in air for a second though in the uh, Glen. We're gonna talk about what it says on the back. So it says, in Kentucky, Buffalo carved a pathway followed by the Americans' first explorers. Those brave pioneers distilled whiskey using traditional methods and drank it right off the still, so. They called it White Dog. This raw distillate was clear, unaged, and had a hint of sweet corn. Later distillers discovered this spirit was perfect for aging, creating what we know today as fine Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. We're still making whiskey on the spot where ancient buffalo once crossed the Kentucky River and followed centuries of time-honored distill distilling traditions. Enjoy this White Dog the Americans did more than 200 years ago. So, let's give this guy a little swirl and see what we can get off of this. They said it's uh, unaged, so it's going to have a lot of corn. Won't have, well, shouldn't have any oak, I would imagine, since it didn't sit in a barrel. It's just distilled. It does have that fruity corn note. That's pretty much all I can smell. Maybe like a hint of vanilla. Very high corn notes. Ooh. Wow. Um, yeah, we didn't warm up the palate today in 125 proof. I know that's not like as high as some of these barrel strengths or, or something, but this isn't this isn't no joke when you jump to 125 proof. Straight from a still. Real clear. I don't know if you guys can see that if I get it to focus. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus on it. Just super clear. It's got like a caramel sweet note to it as well, as far as on the nose, but the taste is a lot of ethanol, a lot of corn. All right, I got a couple ice cubes. I'm gonna drop an ice cube in here. Swirl it around in the glue. See if we can get this ice to dilute it a little bit, bring that proof down. I don't wanna let that whole ice cube melt because then it'll be too watered down. All right, let's see what this does to it. Oh, wow. So the ice really mellowed out that ethanol burn, hence lowering the proof. You can start tasting a lot more of that corn and that real sweet notes. Vanilla, caramel, butterscotch. Wow, this is uh, pretty good. I'm sure this will be something fun to play with as far as like mixing. Um, we'll, we'll try some different things with this in the future, but I just figured I, I saw this while I was out. I wasn't expecting to get anything today, really. Tomorrow I'll be out. Uh, tomorrow we're expecting a pretty big drop. So last Tuesday before the holiday, I'm sorry, the day after the holiday, no truck arrived. Manager said, hey, truck didn't come. There won't be anything here. No reason to wait. Thanked him for that so I don't have to waste another hour waiting around. Um, wasn't able to go on Friday. Uh, because I had work, 
but some of the people in the group that I hang out with and <clears throat> good friend that I've met recently, she was able to go up there with her son and on Friday, once again, no truck arrived. So I'm thinking since we had back-to-back -back days where no truck was there that this Tuesday should be pretty big drop, um, especially because it's always the second week of the month that it seems to drop in my area. Um, also, Wednesday will be a good day for hunting too. So Tuesday, I'm gonna be at Total Wine for sure. Wednesday, I expect Costco or WB Liquors because in Texas, Costco can't sell liquor. They have to have a liquor store. So the store beside it is WB Liquors. They are connected, but for state purposes, they're separate entities, but they're owned and ran kind of by the same people. So I'm hoping that Costco will have something. I think last time they said they just had like Weller Special Reserve, Buffalo Trace, and Eagle Rare. That's all I really got. Uh, but maybe we'll get lucky this time since they didn't get a whole lot last time. Plus we're getting close to that winter. Um, you guys start knowing that that Weller starts popping out. Maybe we can get a Weller 12 or Full Proof or 107 to pop up in store. And then that would be really cool. Plus Wednesday also Specs. Um, Specs will be maybe a later run on Wednesday that we'll go check that out. They normally don't get their trucks until like one or three o'clock in the afternoon, but second uh, Wednesday of the month, they get some pretty cool drops. Maybe we get like a blood oath or something. We'll see what they got though. Thanks guys for watching and checking out this uh, Buffalo Trace White Dog Mash 1 with me. Uh, if you haven't already, please drop a like or subscribe. If you guys have any questions that you wanna ask me, drop them in the comments. And if you guys wanna see any future content, please let me know down in the comments and we can make something happen. Thank you guys.